Japanese submarines slammed two torpedoes into our side. It was coming back from the island of Tinian de Lady. It just delivered the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb. 1,100 men went into the water. The vessel went down in 12 minutes. Didn't see the first shark for about half an hour. Tiger shark, 13 footer. What we didn't know was our bomb must have been so secret. No distress signal had been sent. They didn't even list us overdue for a week. Very first light, the sharks come cruising. So we formed ourselves into tight groups. And the idea was that shark, he comes to the nearest man. And that man, he starts pounding and hollering and screaming. Sometimes the shark got away. Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes that shark, he looks right into you, right into your eyes. The thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eye. When he comes at you, he doesn't seem to be living. Until he bites you, and those black eyes roll over white. And then, then you hear that terrible high-pitched screaming. And the ocean turns red, in spite of all the pounding and hollering. They all come in and rip you to pieces. You know by the end of that first dawn, lost 100 men. On the Thursday morning, I bumped into a friend of mine, Herbie Robinson from Cleveland. I thought he was asleep. Reached over to wake him up. Bobbed up and down the water. Well, he was bitten in half below the waist. And then the fifth day, a Lockheed Ventura saw us and came in low. Three hours later, a big fat PBY comes down and started to pick us up. That was the time I was most frightened, waiting for my turn. I'll never put on a life jacket again. 1,100 men went into the water, 316 men came out, and the sharks took the rest. June the 29th, 1945. Anyway, we delivered the bomb.